dish with D. That's me. It's another episode, installment of my Italian series. Today we're going to do something with the ever famous bacala, which is nothing more than salt cod. That's um, it's cod that's been preserved in salt. So what you have to do first is soak it. So let me turn it around and show you how we're going to get started. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with this bacala yet. Do you think it'll be bacala balls or bacala salad? We'll see. But I thought let's start filming and let's show you what the bacala looks like when you get it in from the store. This little bag, it's in the um, frozen seafood section. Choice bone salted codfish, see, bacala. So here, here's what it looks like. Putting it in a pot, it's hard. See, it's, see all that salt? That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna soak. I got two packages, which is I think two pounds. So I'm going to soak it. Has to, the water has to be changed every so often. But that is what it looks like before we do anything to it. It's all dried and salted. It's going to get all nice and look beautiful when it's done, I hope. All right. I will show you what it looks like when we do the first change. Okay. We've had our bacala soaking for three days. I've been rinsing it at least two to three times a day. Taking all the water out, rinsing it off, and filling it back up. Keeping it nice and cold. So... This is the final day. We are going to drain our bacala again, and we are going to put some fresh cold water and then put it on to simmer. And I'm going to show what it looks like when we get to the simmering stage. This is, yes, two pounds of bacala. I am actually making a cold bacala salad. That's what I decided to make. So yeah, look how plump the fish has gotten considering it was uh, all flat and dried. So let's get her rinsed and get her on the stove. Okay. I forgot to show you the bacala boiling. Yeah, it's that kind of day. So here it is drained. It boiled for about 15 minutes, came up to a boil, let it boil for about 10 minutes. So it's all told about 15 minutes. And here it is, it is draining. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it cool a little bit because it's steaming. And then we're gonna flake it. Let me see if I can show you how. That's how you know it's done. It flakes really easily. See how it really just came right off? That's how you know it's done. So at least that's what the recipe says. So uh, we're going to let this cool. And we're bringing it back and we're going to assemble the salad. Sorry that I didn't show you boiling, but I don't know. Time got away from me here. I can't imagine on Christmas Eve time would get away from me, but it did. But yep, this is fish boiling in water. So we're going to make the dressing for our calamar and bacala salad first. Now it calls for olive oil and lemon juice, but I, since I'm an olive oil freak, I happen to have Meyer lemon olive oil, so I'm just gonna use that. But in the recipe I will have, in the description box, we'll have the regular olive oil with the lemon juice. So you can definitely use that, but I figured I'm going to take a shortcut. So do I have my whisk? Yeah, it would've been nice if I had my whisk prepared, but not. Let's sit and grab it. I have. Okay. 20 olives chopped. I'm using Kalamata, but the recipe calls for a different brand, but I got Kalamata. That's what I like, and that's what I have on hand. A garlic clove, minced. I actually have about two garlic cloves because, yeah, that's how I roll. I like garlic. And it says about two tablespoons of chopped fresh basil. So I am going to chop that. Now, you could chop herbs any way you want. There's really no right or wrong way. They say you can damage the herbs if you do it a different way. But you know what? I'm not a believer in that. Just hack at it. It's all good. It's all home cooks. a couple more leaves I think because yeah it smells really good and it needs to use fresh I mean look at those leaves how beautiful and green and vibrant are they you know they're delish this is actually the first time I'm making this salad like I said my mother always made it roasted in the oven I didn't like it I thought we'd bring the bacala back to Christmas Eve. So I'm trying this. This is actually a Martha Stewart riff on her recipe. So, hey, can't go wrong with Martha, I don't think. 
So we have that. We're going to do it a whisk to combine everything. And now I am going to shred the bakala and I will bring you back and show you because it's all it's in pieces. It, when it comes out, I will show you. When it comes out, it's like this in pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it apart and add it. And I'll bring you back to show you what it looks like when we get there. Alrighty. Let's put our shredded bakala in. Two pounds. Now I might need to add a little more olive oil, we'll see. The only thing I have to count in this is the olive oil. I do, I'm not counting the olives. I'm not going there. Oops. I'm going to do a little extra. I might put some fresh parsley because I do have it. I'm going to put some of that back here. It needs to be more green. I'm all about color. Those smell good. There you have it. Bacala salad. All right, here is the finished bacala salad. I did add the fresh parsley and I thought it needed a pop. So I did add two tablespoons of capers. You can see them right over here, caper berries. And I did add some fresh lemon juice and lemon zest. I felt it was a little bit flat. Even though the lemon was in the olive oil, it definitely needed some fresh lemon. So I did throw that and it actually, believe it or not, needed a little bit of salt. But they always say watch your salt because I would taste before I add salt because sometimes you might have some remaining salt left in your cod. I obviously didn't, it was pretty flat. So yeah, I did add some, um, I also added regular salt and I added some Trader Joe's onion salt with that and everything. But I will get this up on the blog with everything that I used and uh hope you enjoy it okay that was the italian bacala salad so my mother never made this so it's not something i have from when i was a kid she used to roast hers was never a fan so this is actually pretty good this may be making a comeback next christmas eve so i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you enjoyed this new series the italian classics lightened up all right thank you subscribe if you like to give it a thumbs up and you hit that notification bell we'll dish with the uploads hope you all have a merry christmas eve for wherever you're watching this, but try.